Concentric gas lift is a rather rare form of gas lift activation where basically we've got our well with its casings that I'm showing over there with the pen. Uh, we've got the tubing just there with the well packer over there. And inside the tubing, we have like a coil tubing basically or a concentric tubing and the gas lift injection is done through that concentric string where the gas lift is going down there and it's going to lift the well by the bottom. So the well production is going to be produced from the reservoir in that concentric string tubing annulus space over there going to the production installation like that. The most commonly seen application of concentric gas lifts is to run a coil tubing inside of your well and then connect that coil tubing at surface to the gas lift installation and then use it to gas lift. One commonly seen application is a temporary application where you inject nitrogen through your coil tubing to unload a well following some pumping operation if you add some kind of brine to um, clean out from your reservoir. Some less common application include a concentric string with some gas lift mandrel in it that can be equipped with gas lift valve to allow a typical gas lift unloading sequence where you're gonna start by injecting through the upper valve and then move to lower and lower valve until you reach the bottom of your concentric string to lift your well. One of the disadvantage of that application is that it is complicated to make it compatible with a down hole safety valve in your tubing. So in that case, if you want to have a down hole safety valve, you will need to have it below that concentric string. So that would be a deep set safety valve, which is a rather complex down hole safety valve application. If you don't want to use this kind of down hole safety valve, then this application will not be compatible with a down hole safety valve. So one last thing that I want to mention about concentric gas lifts is the fact that that concentric string can act like a velocity string. So for instance, if you had a limited production coming from the reservoir and because of that, the flow regime in your tubing was either a mist flow or an annular flow, having this concentric string is going to act like if you had a smaller tubing ID and therefore you might get your flow type to change and it could go to a more stable flow type like a slug flow or a bubble flow that will therefore reduce the pressure losses along the tubing and therefore get you to increase your production. On the other hand, if you were already in that kind of flow regime by having that concentric string you're gonna reduce the tubing diameter and therefore increase the pressure losses. So depending on the, of the flow type that you've got in your tubing, this concentric string can either have a positive or a negative impact on the well production. So as we just discussed concentric gas lift, on this slide, I wanted to show you the IGLS systems sold by Weatherford. So this stands for Inverted Gas Lift System. And this is basically a system that allows you to achieve concentric gas lift activation in your well. So if you want to have more details about it, you can take a look at the presentation for which you have the link down there. And it is from that presentation that I could extract the pictures of the different elements that you see on that slide. So in order to achieve this injection of gas lift at surface, you just need to add this extra spool like that at the wellhead so that you can connect your gas lift line to it. And then behind that spool, so behind there, inside there, you will have this spool over there. So you have a schematic of it there as well that allows you to circulate gas lift across it like that. And so there you would connect your inner string. So that's what you can see there. You circulate the gas lift 
this way and your inner string is connected at the bottom there. And if you want to produce, then the production goes this way across it. So you will be able to produce across this pool so your production can go and reach your separator. In terms of gas lift mandrels, you will have this type of mandrels. So it's a mandrel with an inner valve like that. So I present this kind of mandrel in my gas lift equipment training and these are called concentric gas lift mandrels. And as you can see there, they actually managed to make a downhole safety valve that you can put inside of your tubing and it will be able to close both the inner string and the tubing inner string annulus. Basically, you connect your inner string over there and over there and you can flow the gas lift across the valve and through ports on the side of it, you can produce your liquid to the surface. And over there, the flapper is open and there we can see that the flapper is closed and so it will close both the inner string in which you circulate gas lift and this string on the outside part of the valve through which you circulate the production from the reservoir, so the oil from the reservoir. As I mentioned before, a very common application of concentric gas lifts is a temporary injection of nitrogen across a coil tubing in order to lift a well if you have trouble to restart it following a drilling or a workover. And so here I just wanted to show you one picture of a coil tubing equipment. So there you have your reel with your coil and the coil is being run across the well this way. So then this is what would see there on this schematic. You would have this coil. It's run to the well. And so this way you can connect then your coil to a source of uh, high pressure nitrogen in order to inject the nitrogen inside of your coil and so lift your well.